If you're looking to buy, repair, sell, update or restore your Apple Mac, Minko's Max offers a personal, genuine service to all customers with many years of experience and specialist technicians in store. Okay, so this is just going to be a quick video explaining what happens when you get a MacBook where the serial number says unavailable and it can't find it. So when the serial is unavailable, you can have things such as the Intel ME region, which is only on Intel MacBooks that can trip and cause the MacBook to run extremely slow. This is a MacBook Air 2012. So what we've done is we've first taken the logic board out and we've grabbed the EFI chip off the board because we're going to need to read this. And then we used a CH341A programmer, a very common programmer. Just make sure you have a genuine one and not a fake one. And you can tell that by the chip here. So once you've taken the chip off, what you want to do is you want to hook it up to your CH341A. Now we've got an adapter board here for this exact footprint, which is important as they have a larger thermal pad underneath, which will short on the common ones that you get with a CH341A programmer. And then we we read the we read the EFI ROM using AS programmer, and we noticed the serial number was indeed damaged. In fact, the ROM itself was damaged, as we have a original dump for this same exact board, which is an 8232098A. So because that was damaged, we went ahead and grabbed the ROM with the ME region cleared. Now, I'm not going to specify where you can get these files as we would not be able to share that sort of stuff. And I'm not going to specify where the offsets for the serial number or the board serial number is. If you, if you would like to do that, you would, you would be on your own to find that. And we wouldn't be able to answer questions about that in the comments. So we've changed the serial number to the original MacBook's serial number that was on the bottom base, which matches up with the serial number that you will find on the board around here on this sticker. As that's the board serial number, which I won't show for these boards. And then once that's done, we've adjusted the board serial number and the MacBook serial number in the EFI ROM image. Now I noticed AS programmer, it can't write these files properly and there's always going to be a verification error, especially with the driver it comes with. So I went ahead and grabbed flash ROM for Windows and put the driver on. Now I've managed to write the file and it's verified properly. As you can see, it's managed to verify that the fixed EFI ROM file was written. So yeah, now that that's done, all I have to do is just solder this back on and the original serial number should show back up on this machine. It shouldn't be running slow or anything like that. When you have the serial number damaged, the ME region may cause weird things to happen, such as the machine running really slow and certain hardware not working alongside things that pertain under iServices like FaceTime and etc. not to work. So this is something that you don't really want to attempt on your own because if you mess something up you could really have a bad day especially if you don't have the original dump only do this if you know exactly what you're doing and how to search for these offsets we would not be able to provide these offsets so this is only for educational purposes and demonstrative purposes to show that this is a service that we also do so yeah that's pretty much all now, once that chip goes back on, everything should work perfectly fine with this MacBook Air 2012. Alright, so the chip has been put back on and as you can see, the serial number is now back. This is the field where the serial number would normally be. So you can see it's now come back, it's booting fine. The machine is not slow at all either. So this has perfectly repaired the serial number that was either that which was damaged on this machine. So that's, that's pretty much all there is. 
editing the EFI, fixing the serial number, and now everything is working perfectly fine.